morning everyone uh today is our travel day to denver and salt lake city uh it is 5 a.m i am a little tired um, but i'm excited it's been uh almost a year since we've um traveled by plane outside of florida so i'm excited uh yeah so we're about ready to go uh, see you guys at the airport this morning uh, this morning was tough um we actually missed our first flight with Frontier at 7.15 um, due to the long line of security at MCO. Yeah, the line of security was pretty bad. It was like an hour long. That's the worst I've seen it um, ever, actually. So a piece of advice for you guys, if you're flying out of MCO, you should definitely get there at least two hours before your flight. And if you have to check a bag or check in at the desk, maybe three hours before your flight. Uh, we actually had to buy another plane ticket uh, to get ourselves to Denver. And yeah, buying another plane ticket last minute is not fun. It's stressful and costly. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend it. But at least we are on our flight now and we should be taking off soon. an hour left in our flight to Denver so we're almost there <laughs> finally um, yeah so a little bit about our flight on United um, there were some thunderstorms along the way from Florida to Colorado so it did get a little bumpy uh, not awful but definitely not as smooth as I would uh, like it to be um, flying actually gives me a bit of anxiety so any kind of turbulence starts to um, freak me out a bit um, so yeah, uh, United Airlines, um, yeah, during the pandemic was not serving full beverages like before, but uh, now they are serving them again. So you can get, you know, your orange juice, tea, um, water, sodas, um, alcoholic beverages for purchase. Um, they also did give us a few snacks, which was nice. Um, so yeah, we're almost there. I'm so excited to be finally getting to Denver. Just got out of the plane and now we are in Denver's airport. Um, yeah, it's a pretty big airport. It's pretty busy actually. Um, yeah, just so thankful we made it. Um, we're ready now to get the adventure started, uh, go see the mountains, try some delicious Denver food. Uh, we're actually gonna go get the rental car now. car from the rental company by the airport. Uh, we just started our drive in Denver. Uh, we're going to head to the Red Rocks Amphitheater first as our first stop. Um, 
we were going to drop by the hotel, but it is uh, only 11 in the morning, so our room's not ready yet. So we're going to start our day by seeing the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Um, the weather is kind of gray and cloudy today. Um, it's saying rain later, um, and a lot of it, but we're hoping that maybe the weather will hold up for us so that we can enjoy Red Rocks Amphitheater and explore downtown later. Um, yeah, but I guess we'll see. Um, hopefully, maybe tomorrow will be not as gray and cloudy. Theater is actually not too far from downtown or the airport. Um, by car, it's actually half an hour from downtown and 45 minutes from Denver's airport. Yeah, I had seen uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater online, um, actually <laughs> on YouTube, and I'd seen a lot of images on Google, and it looks really beautiful. So I'm excited to go to Red Rocks Amphitheater and explore and um, do some hiking. Uh, I had some uh, hot tea, had caffeine on the flight, so um, yeah, so far so good, uh, not too exhausted yet. Almost at the Red Rocks Amphitheater now. I'm so excited to explore and walk around. Um, it'll be really nice after sitting on the flight this morning. Hey guys. Yeah, so we made it to the Red Rock Amphitheater. Um, so far the weather is kind of holding up for us. Um, no rain yet, a little cloudy, a little gray, but sunshine's trying to come through. Um, it's actually not as cold as I thought it'd be. Um, used to the Florida heat, you know, so I expect it to be a lot <laughs> colder. Um, but no, so far I'm so good. Yeah, it's looking really beautiful here. We're starting our hike up the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Um, our goal is to get all the way to the top of the mountain. Um, we want to see the area where you can see the concerts from. Um, it should be an amazing view up there. So we're almost uh, to the top. We're at the Red Rocks Amphitheater now. Yeah. Normally during not COVID times, uh, there are concerts and events here. It was a long walk up. I'm actually quite out of breath right now. I'm a little tired. But yeah, one of these days I'd love to uh, see a concert here. It'd be really cool. <sighs> we made it all the way to the top. So on the top of the amphitheater is where normally during shows they would have a seating area and some food. It was a lot of steps to go up. 
pretty crazy. Well worth it though. <sighs> I am tired. <laughs> now inside the Red Rocks um, Visitor Center. Uh, inside the Visitor Center, you can see and read a lot of history about the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Um, you can also see the interactive hall and the interactive uh, museum that they have here. Uh, there's a lot of nice things to see. Um, I definitely recommend coming into the Visitor Center when you visit Red Rocks. So this room over there, um, actually had the biggest names that played in the Red Rock Amphitheater over the years. There are some pretty cool names on there and a really big list. Uh, so in this room is kind of like a museum. It tells a little more of the history and what the Red Rocks look like over the years. Uh, there's even a really cool collection of the musical instruments signed and used by the artists that played here. It's so cool. Have we just finished exploring Red Rocks Amphitheater? It was a really nice hike up and a really nice walk down as well. Um, yeah, definitely takes some getting used to to this mountain air. Uh, used to Florida being flat, so I'm a little out of breath from all that walking up the stairs and hiking up the mountain, but well worth it. The view from the top was amazing. So I definitely recommend you guys to come to Red Rocks Amphitheater if you're in Denver and you have some time. Um, definitely check out uh, maybe next year they will start to have some events and concerts here. Yeah, the stadium where you sit is outside, but it looks amazing. Well, we haven't had breakfast or lunch yet upon coming to Denver. So we're gonna get ourselves some lunch now. See you later.